Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to take a look at your person and their current feelings for you. We are going to take a look Aries through Pisces. The timestamps will be listed down below. Keep in mind it is a general collective reading. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. If you'd like your own personal reading, my email address or my website are listed down below. So let's go ahead and get started with Aries first. Aries. The person you're thinking about, their current feelings for you. It felt safe to open my heart to you. Then what? Was it a game for you? It wasn't for me. So this person feels like they did open themselves up to you. They were very vulnerable and they did not feel the reciprocation in return. So somebody who is very much stuck in their head about what happened. They felt like their hands were tied and they were very restricted on what they could say or do. This could be a situation where maybe it was very difficult between the two of you and this person put their heart on the line but they didn't feel safe doing it, but they did it anyway. And now they feel like because they've done that and you haven't reciprocated it, that they feel completely lost or abandoned. This is somebody who does want to come out of conflict. They want to reach a, some type of agreement, even if it's an agree to disagree about expressing feelings and emotions and being vulnerable. Let's see what the likely outcome is. Okay, so it does look like there is gonna be a lack of direction on how the two of you are gonna be able to recover from this because your person is feeling like it is a struggle for them because they were so vulnerable and they feel like it's very raw to them that they're not able to move past it right now does look like the truth is going to come out that the honesty is that this person has learned a lesson that not everybody is as open and vulnerable as they have been. Taurus. Two nineteen. Okay, Taurus, let's get... One message for their current feelings for you. I see who you are. I don't think less of you for any life circumstance. I see your heart and I see your soul. So whatever has transpired between you and this person, Taurus, this person sees exactly who you are and they don't think any less of you. They think very highly of you because they know your heart and your soul internally, not what people see externally. They see that maybe you are somebody who lets go and has a lot of regrets when it comes to connections, and maybe you end things prematurely. This is somebody who feels that there is a little bit of restriction or loneliness that they feel because they know who you are at a soul level. They could feel a very strong soul contact with you that's very intense, that that could be why they feel like they understand you that they see who your heart and soul is, even if you don't express it. This is somebody who they're trying to understand what they should do. They want there to be some type of structure when it comes to the feelings and emotions, but this person does not think less of you because you're not able to open up as freely as they are. The likely outcome is there is going to be some type of forgiveness and healing that's going to happen between the two of you. You both will have a conversation about how you each feel and it's going to bring a renewal of hope back into the connection. There will be some apologies exchanged and some forgiveness and the two of you are going to be more focused on overcoming the hurt and pain that you have caused each other. Gemini. Four twenty-two. All right, Gemini, let's get one message for their current feelings for you. I can't feel you like I used to anymore, but when I do, I miss you so much it hurts. So energetically, this is somebody you're in physical separation with, but energetically, this person doesn't feel the intensity of you anymore. And that could be because maybe you've moved on, Gemini, and they feel it energetically. They feel the separation and the divide. 
So somebody who fights it because they don't agree with it. They're struggling with it. And they miss you a lot. It hurts them to think that you've possibly moved on to someone else. So someone who feels like this is a major missed opportunity. But it's out of their control. They don't have any say about what's happened or what's transpired. They are a little bit disappointed and they feel like they have to get defensive if people ask them about what happened because they are still very hurt about the situation. Yeah, this sudden change that transpired, maybe you guys broke up or you went no contact. This person feels it. This was something very catastrophic to them. And this is something they thought that the two of you were going to be together for the long term, that maybe you were actually gonna to come together and possibly get married one day. They thought that this was their last relationship and now that this has broke down, it hurts this person and they're missing you and this hurt and disappointment is very much hard for this person, it's very traumatic for them. And that's how they're feeling right now. Cancer. Twenty-four. Okay, Cancer, let's get one card for their current feelings for you. I sometimes felt unappreciated and taken for granted by you. I should have walked away many times for good, but I didn't. So this person felt unappreciated. They felt undervalued, not being acknowledged. They felt like you walked away and it was no big deal. They felt like they should have walked away, but they never wanted to. So somebody who they wanted to be able to come together and have success. They were hopeful and optimistic that the path of the future was going to have the two of you in it. And that's something that this is, person is being very truthful with themselves about it. They have strong feelings and emotions about what they should have done. I'm hearing shoulda, coulda, woulda, but didn't. And that's because this person feels like there was a lot of fear of the unknown when it came to this connection in the past because they had strong feelings and emotions and they were trying to be very hopeful and optimistic that things were going to go the way that they had wanted, but they repeatedly felt like they were undervalued or not even being acknowledged in the connection. This is somebody who is finally in a position of completing this negative cycle in the past they're finally in a position of figuring out that they should have left sooner than they did. This is somebody who maybe lacked their own independence. Maybe they were very codependent in the past and now they're trying to work on that stability. They're trying to work on being more self-sufficient and trying to gain their own security. They are taking a leap of faith. They are lacking commitment so they don't want a relationship with anyone right now but they are kind of going into this new beginning with themselves and this independence blindly because they feel like that's what they need to do. Leo. 836. Okay, Leo, their current feelings for you. My heart is still open to you. So this person still feels their heart chakra is still open and they're still fully committed to you and this connection, Leo. This is somebody you could have been married to that you're divorced from now. Could be somebody that you were going to marry. Maybe you were engaged to this person. We have double Leo energy here. So this is somebody who it took a lot for them to be able to acknowledge that their heart is still open. This is someone who does not wear their heart on their sleeve. They are someone who it takes a lot of confidence for them to be vulnerable. And this is something this person is recognizing now that they have to jump all in if they want to be able to express that their heart is still there for you, that they still love you and they still want this. This could be a Capricorn Leo or it could be another Leo we do have this strong obsessive energy that your person is feeling obsessed because their heart still belongs to you. We have a little bit of aggressive energy at the bottom here. They are wanting to talk. They want to be honest with you 
and it might be something that they're being a little bit impulsive with the way they come towards you, but it's it's they're wanting to jump all in because their heart still belongs to you, Leo. Virgo. Ten fifteen. All right. Virgo, let's get one card for their current feelings for you. Virgo. I can't wait for you to get it. I keep moving forward. I have to keep moving forward. If you don't come back, know there will always be a special place in my heart for you and for what might have been. So this person can't wait anymore, Virgo. Maybe they've been waiting for you to return, waiting for you to figure it out. It could be somebody that you did break up with recently. There is a separation or a divide here. This person is feeling like they have no other choice but to keep moving forward. They'll always have that place in their heart for you, but they don't want to wait anymore. This is somebody who is feeling like they're not enthusiastic to hold on. They had a lot of hope and optimism in the past, but they're trying to be more realistic because they've been unrealistic up to this point. They have a lot of hidden feelings and emotions about the whole situation and the tension between the two of you, which has created a lot of insecurity for this person. They're trying to be very honest with themselves and very logical that the truth is that things are over and they need to be honest with themselves about that. This is somebody who really is has doubted themselves that they're good enough for anyone else that they wanted to be with you and they've waited for you but you haven't returned to them this is somebody who is finally accepting that this is the closure that they need they need to release the situation and if it's supposed to come back to them it will but for now they're learning to let the connection go libra Twelve, eleven. Okay, Libra, what is their current feelings for you? Everyone deserves love, self-respect, and self-love are necessary foundations for a healthy relationship. So your person wants to be loved, Libra. Their feelings is they want self-respect, they want self-love, and they need that healthy foundation between the two of you. They don't want other options, they want you. They feel like there is a necessary change that needs to happen. Some type of spiritual transformation that needs to transpire between the two of you. That things need to end and things need to be released so that the two of you can come back together. They do want to learn from these past mistakes on how to love you, how you can love them, how you can both respect each other and respect yourself to deserve, to get the love that you truly deserve. This is someone who is very passionate about you. They come, may come across a little bit rebellious or conceited, but that's just their ego blocking their actual authentic authenticity of their heart. This is somebody who's done a lot of soul searching and they're recognizing they need to put that ego aside, that they're having this spiritual enlightenment that they need to love themselves and respect themselves in order for you to do that. That's something that they're recognizing now. They're being honest with themselves that this is a lesson that they're learning because of this connection. And that's what the truth is. Scorpio. 1343. Okay, Scorpio, what are their current feelings for you? I feel like you don't care. So your person desires you, they still care, but they feel like you don't care anymore. Yeah, maybe you've blocked them on the phone, on social media. You've maybe asserted yourself in a position where it comes across like you don't care. This person felt like for a very long time that you've held back. You maybe have out with the old and with the new. Maybe you're dating someone else and that's why they feel that way. There is a sense of broken dreams that this person feels when they think about you and this connection. They thought you were their wish fulfillment and now they're in this lack of accomplishment because they feel like you just don't care anymore, that you've given up. This is somebody that you could have been with for a very long time. There could be a long history here. 
This person is trying to let the connection go because they can't care for you. If you don't care, they're not going to continue to care either. So someone who's learning to grow up and accept responsibility, that they need to be mature and accept that maybe the situation is over. Sagittarius. Fifteen twelve. Okay, Sagittarius, their current feelings for you. Healing and overcoming wounds takes courage. I'm healing in this silence. Are you? So your person's trying to heal, Sagittarius. They may not be telling you this, but that's what their current feelings are. There's wounds in the past that they're trying to overcome, and it's taking a lot of courage. Your person has a lot of built up anxiety and burden in their heart because of this healing. It could be healing from this connection or healing from other things from their past. That's why they're quiet. So someone who's not trying to be rude, but they may be coming across that way because they have impulsively made the decision that they need to focus on these wounds. They are looking at maybe potential options and how they can create the opportunity to overcome these wounds. They could be asking people for advice, seeking legal counsel. There is a lot of different things that this person is trying to do research on figuring out how to overcome the wounds that they're dealing with. There is a sense of instability on your person's part and they're not running away from the connection, but they are running into recovery for themselves, which is something that is necessary for them to overcome. It's taken a lot of strength and courage for your person to get to this point but they are thinking more logical and doing the necessary work that they need to during this time period for themselves. Capricorn. Sixteen fifty-five. All right, Capricorn, what are their current feelings for you? I am responsible for my own healing and happiness. I know how to transform pain into something higher. I'm not a victim to anything. So your person's not trying to play victim, if that's what you think. They're trying to be responsible for their own happiness. They know that they can't be happy with you or anyone else until they transition and form into their own healing and happiness, which is a journey that this person needs to go on independently. They may come across as somebody who's not emotionally mature or available. And it's because they've had to step away because they don't want to play the victim. That's not the role that they want to be in. So somebody who is trying to maybe gain spiritual strength to overcome what they need to with this healing journey that they're on. This person in the past maybe tried to heal themselves and they weren't able to. They failed repeatedly because they didn't know how. They didn't have the truth and clarity of how to do that. And now they're getting the, the advice that they need. They're getting the guidance and they're getting the support that they need from people in their community, people in their family, people that are close to them, people that can relate to what they've been through. And they're focusing on their healing to find that true happiness. That's something that... Your person's trying to find this inner peace of viewing things from the past and what perspective they looked at in the past that made them feel like a victim. They're no longer looking at things that way. They're looking at things very different now. Aquarius. Eighteen fifty one. All right, Aquarius, what are their current feelings for you? I wasn't expecting this connection when it showed up. Even though I knew what it was right away, I wasn't ready. Knowing hasn't made it easier. I must trust in divine timing. So, Aquarius, your person was not in a position to be expecting a relationship. Maybe they were already in a relationship that was completely falling apart when they met you. Even though they knew that right away there was something special between the two of you, they weren't ready. They weren't prepared to accept what was happening. So it's easier for them to just trust in what's happening by fate and by divine timing. 
there was some stagnation because this person didn't know what direction to go in, especially if they were already in a relationship that was freshly, they were coming out of it or they were in the middle of finishing that relationship cycle. This is something that they felt like they had a sense of not having any control or power in their life. But now they're seeing that divine timing is a huge factor, that you came into their life at the perfect time. Even though at the time they didn't feel it was the perfect time because their life was a little bit chaotic. But looking back, now they're understanding that this was fate, that you were supposed to come into their life. And they're understanding that. This is somebody who's gaining the knowledge and experience to be honest with themselves that this is something they want to communicate with you. They want to be very constructive and letting you know that they do believe in fate. They do believe that the two of you met in divine timing and that this is a decision that this person is going to be very quick to tell you and help you understand that they're thinking about how much good luck you've brought into their life since they've met you. Even though they didn't recognize that it was a fated connection, that you were brought into their life for a reason, in the past, they do recognize that now. And they're really excited to see what the future holds. Pisces. Twenty-one oh nine. All right, Pisces, what are their current feelings for you? Pisces. I wish we both would have had the courage to go deeper. So there's some regrets on your person's part about no, not going in a more vulnerable state with you, not opening up, not having the courage to be fully transparent about what they were feeling. This is somebody who now sees that you are a soulmate tied to them, that there is a strong attraction and that this soulmate connection is something that they need to be engaged in. That it's okay because you're part of the soul tribe that they're in. That this is a union that is supposed to happen. And that you're very compatible. This is someone who is looking towards the future. They're envisioning what it would be like for the two of you to be together. They think about the past and wish that they were more vulnerable and transparent with you. And they think about how they could do that in the future. How can they succeed with that in the future? They're definitely gaining what the truth is. They want to achieve what the vision of this truth is and explain it to you. So someone who has juggled with it for quite some time, figuring out the exact words of what they want to say and how they want to shift their perspective of lack of in the past to embracing in the future. We do have that star card being hidden at the bottom of the deck. So this person has a lot of hope and inspiration that faith is going to help them and that their spirituality is going to guide them into making the right choice of figuring out how they can be more vulnerable and more open and go deeper into this relationship with you. 